program. But now, what we've all been waiting for, the often grueling, at times brutally inappropriate, bout of the season, Wednesday Morning Raw, Stigma Battles, brought to you by Health Partners. <laughs> Great care and coverage, all in one place, health partners. <laughs> and here are our commentators for Wednesday Morning Raw, Stigma Battles, Ted and Tad. Good morning, Tad. Good morning, Ted. So are you ready for this? Yet another round between our perennial opponents, Dark Ages Dan and Rockin' Recovery. It's going to be a doozy, Tad. We've got Dark Ages Dan in the blue corner, who, as you know, absolutely refuses to acknowledge that mental health recovery is possible. And this, despite increasing numbers of people stepping forward to testify that they're successfully living with serious mental illnesses. And not just Dark Ages Dan Ted, but incredibly, there are many people who continue to cling to the idea that people with mental illnesses are somehow to be feared and valued less than the rest of us. Sad but true, Tad. Sad but true. But Dark Ages is up against an opponent that has been getting stronger and slowly building a fan base of support. In the red corner is Rock and Recovery with a look in his eye that he says he's ready to knock Dan back to the Dark Ages. And there's the bell for the first round. Dark Ages comes out fast with a flurry of wacko, crazy nuts that drives Rock and back. Groan, grunt. And pins him to the ropes. <laughs> oh, but look at the move from Rockin' Recovery. With a slick, my wellness recovery action plan has me stable and holding down a job. Rockin' knock Dark Ages flat on his back. Pump! And he's looking kinda woozy and might be primed for a pin. No, what's this? Dark Ages pulled out a news article about recent violent incidents that blames disturbed and deranged individuals for the spate of violence. Swish! Whack! <laughs> that literally flipped Rockin' completely over, landing him face down on the canvas with the wind knocked out of him. But Rockin' Recovery's doing his best, pulling out a whole binder of research pointing to the fact that less than 5% of all violence is committed by people with mental illnesses. Yay! Strangely, that seems to have just fueled Dark Age's irrational anger to the point he's been rendered speechless and resorted to oh, 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 literally oh, pun oh, punching, oh. kicking, and throwing Rock into the canvas. Oh. Rockin', get up, get up, Rockin'! Rockin' is just taken and he's not fighting back! Lord have mercy, Rockin's nonviolent strategy is making his point, but what a price he's paying, what a price. Will he survive this relentless attack from the Dark Ages? <laughs> Thank God for the bell in the end of that round, Ted. Not just the round, Ted, the referee is calling the match. Rockin' and the rest opinion just can't continue. <laughs> Well, this is a terrible turn of events. Just when you think Rockin' and the anti-stigma movement are gaining considerable strength, some shoddy bit of inappropriate reporting takes us right back to the Dark Ages. But wait! Word just out that a documentary series from the Make It OK anti-stigma campaign, spearheaded by one of our own program sponsors, Health Partners, has been awarded an Emmy. Now we know that Rock and Roll will be back to fight another day with renewed strength. Yay! And with that, we look forward to seeing Rock and Recovery back to fight again. This is Ted. This is Tad. Join, Join us, us next, next time, time for Stigma, Stigma Battles. Battles.